Next to some BTS plays. This video is made possible by Dashlane. Secure your data from prying eyes by signing up for a free account today. So here's a question to ask yourself. If you could get away with just one crime, which would be the one that you would commit? If you're smart, then you'd answer committing a heist of this building right here in New York City, the Federal Reserve Bank of yeah. New York. Why this building in particular? Because it's home to the largest amount of gold stored in a single place in the world. Kevy, About $250 billion dollars worth of it. Unfortunately for you, though, so, you club. wouldn't have any chance of getting away with stealing any of this gold. Because the vault inside this building that stores all of it is arguably the most difficult place in the entire world to break into. And they don't care about my stupid hypothetical rules. You, you see, the Fed operates 12 regional banks across the United States that together decide monetary policy for the United States and serve as the banker of the U.S. government. The Fed in New York City, however, which covers all of New York State, plus several counties in New Jersey, Connecticut, and all of Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands, is by far the most influential of the 12 regional banks. It controls the largest amounts of assets and conducts the most activity. Damn, like the and continental is located right John here Wick. on 33 Liberty Street in New York in Lower Manhattan. This bank is where U.S. monetary policy is actually implemented, and the vault the bank controls is home to the greatest treasure on Earth. Seven so if I remember correctly, doesn't a single block of gold weigh like 20 pounds? They're extremely heavy for their size, right? It's like the second heaviest material, the second heaviest like anything per ounce, second only to tungsten, right? No. I I thought it was, isn't it? Cuz a uh, a tungsten cube this weighs I think it's 70 pounds. And then a gold block of that same size is just behind that and there's nothing heavier. They're the most dense. Oh, 41 pounds. I was off. Because William Osmond made a video on it. But I could be misremembering. It's been a while since I saw it. I thought I remembered that being the fact he gave. 7,000 tons. Lead is much heavier. Let's see. Oh, that would have been so nice. They just had that. <laughs> just put fucking a uh, 4x4x4 four by four by four cube of lead. Damn. Osmium is the heaviest metal. Let's see. Let's do it like this. I believe you on the osmium. Gold is denser than tungsten and lead, according to a Kiora, which I don't really trust. Gold is more dense than tungsten. Where's lead? Oh yeah, it's not even close. Lead is not even in the running with tungsten and gold. Gold is in fifth place. Yeah, I thought tungsten was number one, but actually gold is heavier by just a bit more, more dense. Osmium, plutonium. Oh, osmium, plutonium, and plutonium are the top three. Tons of gold bricks that together are worth $250 billion, an amount so enormous it could instantly pay off the national debt of Saudi Arabia. Very little of this gold is actually owned by the United States, however. Nearly all of it is owned by a number of foreign central banks and international organizations. Cardenas? Private individuals and companies are not allowed to store gold inside. The bank charges no That's fees for Naruto. storing gold inside the vault and acts as the gold's guardian. Fees oh, are only charged when gold right. is transported to or out of the vault or between accounts inside. 
inside of the vault. So now that you know what's inside, what makes it the most difficult place in the world to break into? Well, first of all, the vault that contains all the gold is located in a basement 24 meters beneath the street level. The building itself is staffed with armed security 24 hours a day, and surveillance cameras monitor the building and the outside hey, perimeter Nathan, at all times as well. If you somehow snuck past there. all of this and got down to the basement, you would find that there is only one entrance into the vault, a steel cylinder nearly 3 meters tall that weighs 90 tons, surrounded That's by an nothing. additional 140 ton steel and concrete frame. This cylinder is usually moved 90 degrees to completely shut off this only entrance. Then four steel rods are inserted into holes that cannot be taken out by anybody until the next business day. When the cylinder is closed <laughs> like this, it creates an airtight and watertight seal that is so extreme that if you were caught mm -hmm. inside of it, you would run out of air and suffocate within three days. If you manage to get through the cylinder That's a lot longer than I would have expected. you'll then discover that the inside is also monitored 24 hours a day by both surveillance cameras and motion sensors. The vault has 122 compartments inside where the gold is stored, where each compartment is a different account holder at the bank. Each compartment is locked by a padlock, two different combination locks, and an auditor's seal. Anytime gold is transported to or from the vault or in between point, these compartments, a minimum of three different authorized people are required to be present two members of the New York Fed Gold Staff and one member from the New York Fed Internal Audit Staff. No one person knows all the combinations required to access these compartments. It requires all three members to come together to mm. open any of them. If you miraculously avoided all the security up to this point, then there are still more problems that face you. First, there's approximately 508,000 gold bars located inside, and each single bar is worth over $600,000. The problem is that each bar also I weighs was, I was seven close. pounds, so I you better 20. have bought a wheelbarrow or something. If you're inside, though, the only exit possible is the same way you came in through, which could be dangerous. The cylinder could have been rotated 90 degrees, which would trap you inside, or the Federal Reserve Police could be waiting for you out on the other fire. side. Let's be honest, though, if, if you broke into this and it got found out, the entire New York City Police Department would probably be swarming you like you have five Die stars in Grand Theft so Auto. Long. If you're thinking you could dig into the vault from above, then forget about it. Like the cylinder, the vault is encased in a massive and thick steel and concrete shell, and the security forces inside specifically look for ground vibrations around it. Plus, you'd be drilling in the middle of downtown Manhattan. Yeah, there's probably no security. They're just trying to scare date, people. Not a single physical break has and act, ever been ask for a gold bar. Fed, and for good reason. The security present is extremely intimidating and practically guarantees that any attempt would immediately fail. But breaking into the bank digitally is apparently a lot easier. Back in 2016, an unknown group of hackers broke into the Central Bank of Bangladesh oh. and sent fake payment orders to the Fed in New York. They requested $951 million be sent to their bank accounts in Sri Lanka and the Philippines. And the Fed just gave them $101 million in that amount before their security realized what was happening. If the most impenetrable bank in the world World can lose over 100 million dollars to hackers on the other side of the world, then you could lose a lot too. You should be limiting did the amount get, of information that you caught? post about yourself online. But the easiest way to protect yourself is to just use a different password. That was smooth. Surely they got caught for that, right? I feel like we even watched the video on it. That sounds vaguely familiar. They never got caught. Damn, get fucked. <clears throat> they made a spelling mistake and got busted. Yeah, that'll get you every time. They probably used the wrong form of there. That's bested many a man. It was a Kinto Bento Vento? A Kinto Bento video? I love Kinto Bento.